the maternity ward was next to a busy road. But above the noise of the traffic, my dad asked the nurse, is it a boy or a girl? Many Nigerian fathers would have been disappointed, but not my father. I was the exception to the rule for Nigerian girls. At 16, I said I wanted to be president. I don't remember who I said it to, but they didn't laugh. I didn't experience most of the limitations and violations many Nigerian girls face. I finished high school with top grades. My parents supported me in my choice of what to study at university. I held good positions in my career and married in my own time by my own choice. I knew I was born special, but over time, people started saying, do you think you'll be lucky forever? I let that sink in and began to doubt myself. During my maternity leave, I'd been thinking of going back to work. The day nurse had just taken the twins and I had a moment to reflect. Sitting there, I remembered my girlhood dream of being president. I laughed. <laughs> Bosse, you must be joking, I thought. I couldn't see a path. But I had the clear thought, even if you have to give up on your dream, make sure that the next girl doesn't have to. I immediately started an Instagram page before I lost momentum. Women in Politics NG, I called it, and started posting things about inspirational women leaders. In six months, I found closet politicians everywhere. I didn't have funding but gave women visibility, provided them with communication support. I was on to something. But in the 2019 elections, women's representation dropped to only 4.1%. I was devastated. There are so many issues facing women and girls, and I knew it was going to take women in leadership positions to address them. Now I understood the challenges. Almost every Nigerian woman who has run for election and lost either leaves the country or never runs again. They face so many stereotypes, insecurity, violence, financial challenges. But there are hundreds of competent women. So my co-founder and I started Elect Her. Engaging, encouraging, equipping and enabling women to decide, run and win elections so they can advocate for policies that promote women and girls' rights. Our time is coming. I no longer want to be the exception. I will run for president one day, but I won't be the first.